is we can go through and look at specifically here active TCP and UDP ports. So as a uh, certified professional, it's important that you know what ports are active on um, either your laptop or if somebody's having issues that um, they say that their, their laptop is broken or uh, you know you're, you're going out, you're looking at a server for troubleshooting, it's important that you know what ports are active and specifically we can view active TCP and UDP ports um, by doing these simple things here. So we go to the command prompt. From the command prompt, um, if you don't know how to get there, then uh, you need to figure that out. But essentially, we, we run the command, and we come in here, we'll do netstat. And immediately, my machine here, you guessed it, its name is Big Benny. And um, what does this do for me? If I'm viewing the active TCP in UDP, uh, you can see here my host network. I have a local host that's running here, which is the 127.001 local host. But then my IP address here on my network is 192.168.12. And then it's doing a, a bunch of different things to a bunch of different things on different networks that are out there. Um, so for instance here, you can see, again, looking for active TCP and UDP ports, you can see all these specifically are TCP ports. And then it gives you the exact uh, port number that it's talking or communicating over. And then over here it says where it's going to. And many of these, if we were to go in and type in these IP addresses, um, I have a good feeling here based off of I don't really have anything open except for uh, Gmail and my website, or I'm sorry, Google Hangouts and my website, that there's a good chance that uh, these guys down here at the bottom are more than likely um, in the 5800 range here doing some voice over IP and uh, specifically negotiating this uh, specifically for me. So if I was to go in and do something a little bit different here, um, oh, in Windows it's CLS. So I'm going to clear the screen. And then what I'll do is a netstat minus A. The minus A parameter here tells us the netstat command to display all of the information. So not just the, uh, the basic stuff that we saw before, but now it's telling me all the information. Specifically here, I can note that the ports are listed over in on the side here. And, and here you can see that there are some communications. Looks like it's going over um, maybe IP version 6 here with these different five um, hexadecimal characters that are going on and specifically going to um, uh, ports that are on the network. And what I can see here is that um, there's a lot of services that are um, that are are waiting for connections, and specifically, um, this netstat minus a parameter tells the netstat command to display all the information for us um, in our particular um, device right here. So um, that is how to view any active or open ports for troubleshooting TCP or UDP and um, really it's quite tedious to, to go through and and try to figure out what each one of these is. There's some other tools that are out there like any of the sys internal tools that would actually uh, make the link for you to tell you what these websites are and specifically what these different um, uh, ports would do, but you can see we we talked a little bit about this uh, before uh, 137 138 we immediately know because we've memorized all the different ports that are out there We know that that is NetBIOS, So that specifically is doing some sort of communications over NetBIOS using those ports there uh, So um, That's really uh, how to view active ports on a